So you wonder why people are in churches and the impact of the gospel is not felt. The question is, what are the churches preaching? Because if the message of his death, burial, and resurrection is not preached, there's a problem. The mission of the church is not to raise millionaires who will be richer than Bill Gates. The mission of the church is to reveal Christ to the people for whom he died. That's the mission of the church. You are not coming to church because you want to succeed fast. No, you're coming to church because you want to know Christ. Because the knowledge of Christ unveils your identity. And when you know who you are in Christ, life becomes maximized. Because the fullness of redemption and what Christ died for can be maximized by you whom he died for. And then somebody says, doesn't God want us to succeed naturally? He wants you to succeed. That's why he has created an enabling environment called the world. There are diamonds in the world. Gold, silver, there is, there is everything. He has made the world rich and the earth is the Lord. He says the silver and the gold are mine. The cattle upon a thousand hills are mine. He wants you to prosper. But beyond you prospering, beyond everything else he has provided in the planet, he wants you to be saved. Because when it comes to prosperity, he wants you to prosper and he wants the unbeliever to prosper. He wants everybody to prosper. He wants everybody to be rich because he didn't provide the natural resources for Christians. He provided for mankind. Why? For God so loved the world. That explains why unbelievers are richer than Christians. There is no special planet for Christians on earth. It's the same planet. The same rules that work for the unbeliever in business works for the believer in business. I'm teaching here. So you don't come to church to come to learn how to do business. If you want to learn how to do business, there's a business school. There is a university that is very, very, very professional and experienced and trained to teach people how to do such things. But the church, we are not businessmen. I'm a man of God. The only thing you will hear from me is God. That's the only thing you will hear. You will hear God. Of course, I will pray that in your endeavors you prosper. I will pray that in your pursuits you prosper. Didn't somebody pray that prayer in First John? John prayed. He said, my little children, I desire to hear that you walk in the truth. He said, nothing gives me greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth.